Do you need to test your web application for stored cross-site scripting attacks? Well, I'm Daniel Lowry from IT Pro TV, and this is a Quick Bite. The first thing we need to do is find an area that might actually store data that a user inputs. Comment, comment boxes, message boxes, things of that nature are prime for that. Here I have a uh, what looks like a guest book. So it's asking me for things like my name. So I can put my name in there and a message. This is a message and then sign the guest book. Once I do that, you see that it shows up here. Now, anybody that visits this page should see that information. The server is storing it and then sending it out to the web page for whoever requests it. Well, let's check and see if it is vulnerable to any kind of cross-site scripting. I can put my name in here again but in here, I will put some JavaScript. I will use script tags to let it know that this is JavaScript and hopefully it will interpret it. I'll use an alert box to see if it pops an alert. And what it'll say is just XSS. Close my script tag out and now I'll sign the guest book. If I get a pop-up, which I do, that means I am susceptible to a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability. I'll need to fix that. For more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel I'm Daniel Lowry, and this has been an IT Pro TV Quick Bite.